What's up guys? This is the first vlog I'm going to be putting onto the cooking channel. I haven't made a vlog in a long time, so it's a bit weird for me to just, you know, have the camera in my face and to look directly at the camera. Anyways, so on this cooking channel, I can't find my tripod, so we're gonna do a Joshua Wiseman style and you're inside of my cabinet. Anyways, so on this vlogging experience, I'll probably be cooking. That's kind of the thing about it. And then, uh, you know, you get to s learn more about me. You get to see how I am and what I do outside of, you know, YouTube. We're gonna talk about where I work. Maybe not exactly where I work, but we're gonna talk about what I do at that work. And then I'm, I put in my two weeks, so I'm actually leaving. So I'll be able to talk about it afterwards. So after the two weeks, we'll be able to talk about where I currently work. We could talk about where I worked in the past, and yeah, so you're gonna learn a lot about me on this channel. But before we get started with the vlog, I need to do some things. So we're gonna give Autumn her daily walk around the neighborhood. Uh, I think that would be a good thing. And Autumn sure loves it. Oh God. We're back from our stroll around the neighborhood. We're gonna be making pizza. Now, that pizza is very dear to my heart. Only because it's so damn good. It is so good. So I got this pizza box from a restaurant yesterday and I figured I'd make a pizza, but definitely not your traditional pizza. I have some old pizza dough that we're gonna use for the pizza. And we gotta go get a few ingredients from the store. So let's go do that. I just remembered we have to do one more thing before we go get the groceries. I have to pack up my computer that is upstairs and take it to a repair shop because my computer is fucked up. Before we go, I just realized as well, as I was walking outside in the mailbox, my glasses are finally here, dude. I've been waiting forever for these. But whenever I get something in the mail, I'll share it with you guys as well, like you know, just so you guys can enjoy the unboxing with me. Well, this is an unbagging, but I don't know where I got these. Zenny.com, just cause they were cheap, bro. Like. They do the same thing as other glasses. And these are carbon fiber glasses, dude. I know what's in here. They carbon fiber, G. You guys can do the unveiling with me. Uh, let's do the unveiling. Ooh, now I get to look like a teacher, dude. I can see again. I look ridiculous, but I can see again. Wow. Oh my god, it's hot in here, man. I'm sweating. So the pizza we're going to be making is a buffalo chicken with ranch dressing pizza. Bro. Bro, this shit is fucking beautiful. And if you haven't had it, I suggest you try it because it's beautiful. Now let's go to the computer repair shop. So, I keep dealing with this unfortunate problem with this SSD I purchased. Now, it is no big brand SSD. I just got an SSD big enough for my computer that'll hold my OS and maybe two games. So I think it was like 250 gigs or something. Nothing crazy. I didn't keep two games on it. I kept Adobe on it and I kept my OS. Those are the two things I kept on it because being able to go through my videos on my SSD um, video editors is just better and then your OS on a on your SSD is just better anyways as well anyways second time it's locked up I'm getting it fixed again um, it's a big pain in my ass I'm honestly just considering just getting a whole new damn computer because I keep having problems with this computer it's older I've had it since I was 18 so what can you do from where I am I was gonna go to Kroger from my house 
But now from where I'm at, I'm gonna go to Walmart because it's closer, so. All right, we got the shit. Let's head back to the house. Okay, folks, we're back from the store. Much needed. Excuse me one second. We're gonna be making some fresh buffalo chicken, buffalo ranch pizza, buffalo ranch chicken pizza. There we go, fuck, I can't even speak. Let's get our hands dirty. We got the oven already preheating and we're about to grab that motherfucking air fryer and start getting these chicken or this chicken all toasty. You guys hear that air fryer? That shit's loud as fuck. Um, I'm gonna move the camera down to my hand so you can actually see me doing the choppy chop. While I do my thing, I wanna talk to you guys. So I'm going through some weird stuff at work. I work for one of the top restaurants in Nashville. Currently, as we speak. Uh, while that gets cut, I'm gonna throw these up here. Um, I think we should start with the brine first. Let me pause my story. Um, we need to get these onions pickled now. So I need to get a little pot with some red wine vinegar. I already have that on hand. I haven't even opened this bottle yet. I make a lot of pickles. I'm gonna eyeball a cup, maybe two, maybe two cups. We'll do two cups. You guys see this plastic tip? Fuck you! To the company that makes that shit, I hate it. Stop putting this shit on my bottles. Anyway, so we're gonna get a good cup. About a cup, maybe two. We'll do two cups. We'll do two cups of uh, red wine vinegar. And then we're gonna put in some honey. Uh, we'll do about I don't know, three tablespoons of honey. It's a good quick pickle, I think. All right, let's just get this hot. It's hot and going. All right, so we have the quick pickle where I'm going. So while I continue to prep, we're gonna talk about where I work. So I work for one of the top three restaurants in Nashville. And I recently made the transition to front of the house. Now, I've never done that before. And I've only done it just so I could try it out. Cause every job I've had here in it, fuck, these onions are making me cry. They're, I've had nothing but bad experiences since I've lived here. Um, I've worked at shitty boutique hotels, which I do not recommend. If they are not corporate, I wouldn't do it. Honestly, working for a hotel, they're just gonna work the shit out of you and you're, they're gonna take advantage of you. Um, now, I may leave those stories to the about the restaurants I worked at here in Nashville up to another video, but for now, I'm just gonna say it was a shitty experience, okay? It was not a good time, and I'm down to tell you guys about it, but just not in this video, you know? Like I said, I made the transition in front of the house. Ah, oh, fuck these onions. Like, this is one of the top three, for, for sure. It's fine dining, James, Mm. I'll go ahead and say it. I put it in my two weeks. So I'm not going to say the restaurant yet until I'm done working there. But it's one of the top three James Beard Award nominee uh, chef. And, you know, she's badass. She's great. But I've been having this weird thing. So she asked me because I have kitchen experience and we're down like three dishwashers. She said in the past four years she's never had, not had a dishwasher. So she just asked me. Oh, you know, I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind helping out. I don't mind being a team player, you know? So I've been dishwashing the past, like, two days or something. Nothing crazy. She only asked me to do it for, like, a week. And uh, I'll be washing dishes tonight. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. I'm washing dishes again. If it's weird washing dishes again. Like, I would wash dishes to help sometimes, but I wouldn't wash dishes as, like, my job. Um, our quick pickle brine is already boiling. So we're just going to go ahead and just set that in the onions. So my quick pickle is done. Let's put a weight under it. I mean, on top of it. So that way it stays submerged in the pickling brine. Um, I'm going to use this mug. That'll do. I'm going to throw it in the fridge. I'm going to throw it in the freezer. I want it to cool fast. Um, so now we need to get on to, honestly, our dough. We need to do our make our pizza now. Let me throw away this trash and we'll continue the story. I work with a lot of 
really good cooks. Like they're all really talented. They all care about their work. They all want to be there. They all want to learn. And it's weird working with these people because I'm front of the house right now and I'm helping out Dish. None of them expect me to be a cook, like a good cook. None of them expect me to be good at my job or good at cooking anyways. There we go. Easiest way to put that. They don't think I'm good at cooking. None of them know. Now, they're starting to learn that because when I'm not washing dishes, I'm helping them prep. And, uh, well, <laughs> um, I, one, one of the girls found out that I was a cook because they saw me honing my knife and they were like, Josh, what's your background? I was like, oh, I've been here for two months and no one's felt the need to ask me until they see me hone a knife. <laughs> they should see what else I can do. But, um, so it's weird. And I was holding my knife and I was like, you know, I've been cooking for seven years, dude. And this is my first time front of the house. And it's weird coming to front back of the house and no one knowing what the fuck it is I do. Now, there are a few that know because I staged there before I started working there to cook. And I actually turned it down uh, because this was in the period where I was like, back of the house here in Nashville just sucks, you know? That's just what I was thinking. So I turned it down and then two months later accepted a front of house job. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I love, I love both. Uh, I'm great with people, great with people, I'm great. At cooking, I'm great at everything, pretty much. Not to flex, but I'm just good. I'm, I'm a good person. We need to get started on this dough. Surface, where we're gonna be make, putting the dough. Easy to make your own pizza. So we're just gonna rotate it. We're just gonna keep rotating. I need it to be a regular circle. <laughs> like, I don't need it to be an oval. I'm actually not going to use this yet. You always want to make sure you have a clean surface when you do this. Luckily, before the video, I actually wiped everything down, so we're good. I just want it to be flat and even, and then we're going to go back to doing this. Let's just give it some, like stretch moments, some good stretching. Let it know we care about it. We wanna stretch her out, you know? We wanna use an abuser. Well, not abuser, but we wanna use her. The way she likes it anyways. I'm talking about the dough. Get your minds out of the gutter. So I'm having this weird rippage right here. It's not ripped, but it's like halfway ripped, it's weird. Let's go back to rotating. You know, making pizza gets a little messy, but you know, it's not, it's fun to get a little messy in your kitchen. Honestly, we're getting to about where I want the pizza to be at. Let's give this some more rotating. Let it stretch. Let the weight of the dough actually pull itself down. Let's reflower. You know, this pizza isn't gonna be the biggest. Uh, honestly, I can need it a little more. Ugh, this is a struggle. I haven't made pizza in a while. At least at home pizza. And this pizza dough has been frozen for like a while. <laughs>
I wanted to be as close to a circle as possible. Jesus, why is this so hard to ask? You know, it's okay when you get a little rip. You can just do a little pinch. Except when your hand sticks. Do a little pinch motion. And you can just pinch it back. If it doesn't stick to your fingers. But yeah, see, we're good. We'll pull this end. Let's sauce this bad boy. Take our buttermilk ranch. Finally, one without the thing. Do a big blop of our sauce. I need a spoon. I need to spoon my pizza dough. That'll do. It's not a ladle, but it'll do. And you know, I may need to add some more sauce, you know? And that's okay. We like it saucy. You want to make sure you leave some crust, like so you don't want to go all the way to the edge. I had some garlic oil, but I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. All right, our pizza sauce. Some damn good ranch. Now we're just gonna cheese it up and throw it in the oven. We'll add the rest of the stuff after. Cheese that puppy up. Give her some love, you know? Give it some cheese right here. You want to cover pretty much all the sauce with cheese, some cheesage. All right. She looks cute as fuck. Now she's gonna go in the oven. All right, pizza's in the oven. Let's clean up our mess. My trash can's been having a good time. But yeah, crazy experience so far. Turned it down. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, two months later, accepted a job in front of the house. And that was just because I've never done it before. I wanted to try something new since I've been having such a bad time with kitchens since I moved to Nashville. But I've had nothing but a good time here. And Unfortunately, I did put in my two weeks because it's also hard to be a bartender here in Nashville as a male slash um, never having bartending experience. And I, where my girlfriend works, I accepted a bartending job because it's really hard to get a bartending job. So they offered it to me, I accepted it, and yeah, so I put in my two weeks at this job that I'm working at. I'm gonna clean this parsley real quick. Give me one momento. Uh, it's just weird working with people and no one knows that I know what I'm doing. Like I'm literally, I have managers coming up to me being like, hey, I need you to do it this way. Or like, hey, I need you to make sure these beans get cooked. Okay, and they're beans, bro. Beans are not hard. And granted, these beans have to sit in water. We buy dehydrated beans and then you gotta rehydrate them and then you cook them. And it takes a lot longer, but they're better. They're definitely better. Or my manager was just like, hey, make sure these don't burn. Make sure you cook them. Make sure you taste them. Give me all the steps. And you know, I'm not rude. I'm not a rude person. I I'll sit there and just be like, yeah, of course. Yeah, no problem. I got you. But I didn't tell them that I know what I'm doing. I and that'd be rude of me. That would be very rude of me. Because you got to listen to what they want. Because, you know, there could be something you don't know. And you could learn something. Simple. Simple as that. You could just learn something new. Um, I need to put my tenders in this thing, so let's do that. 
You gotta be open-minded coming into these kitchens. You know, you'll learn something for sure. They'll learn you something. Anyway, so working with people that have no idea that I know how to cook is just weird because you get treated like you don't know what you're doing. And you know, it's kind of nice. Everyone expected me not knowing what to do because there's a lot less pressure on me. So if I mess up, it's not as big of a deal. Now, obviously my goal is to not mess up, but you know, if it happens, I don't look bad. At least not as bad, you know. I think I'm only gonna chop one head. I definitely don't need more parsley than that. <laughs> That's kind of a lot of parsley for what I'm doing. I'm honestly just gonna toss it with the chicken tenders and the buffalo sauce. <laughs> now, even though I'm having a good time working there and learning a lot, um, being in front of the house has definitely taught me a thing or two. But unfortunately, I did put in my two weeks and I am taking a bartending job. Bartending pays better. Being in front of the house pays better. Um, you work less hours. And I know that sounds lazy, but I love to cook. Don't get me wrong. I love flavors. My palate's fucking great. But I can come home and cook. I can come home and make myself a gourmet meal rather than 300 people. I can make someone a beautiful drink, fucking a beautiful old-fashioned or martini or anything, and get paid more and work less hours. I'll work, like, double as a cook. So it's the, the idea in life is to work less and make more, right? So as long as I'm able to pay my bills, that's all I care about. And now I'm able to do this with you guys because I'm working less. And I plan on uploading as often as I can. Uh, you know, I'm gonna try and do at least two videos a week. But you know, I can't promise anything. I still work in a restaurant. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see how the pizza turns out. The big reveal of the pizza. Oh my God. You know, the tenders got a little toasty, you see? A little burnt. I mean, it's not burnt, but it's got a little darkness. But you know, that's okay. That builds character, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna toss these motherfuckers and top that pizza, all right? Hot, hot. Hot on my fingers. Careful. I tried to cool it off. Was it good? Was it good? Yeah. You know, off camera, I went ahead and topped the pizza because I want to show you guys the big reveal. Um, I topped it and I put some more cheese on it because I, so that way you can get the extra gooey, cheesy deliciousness. I was putting my parsley away and this happened. Ah! Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this big reveal dog? Bro. Oh my God, bro. Look at the buffalo chicken. Oh my fuck. I, I separated the chicken from the cheese side because my girlfriend's pescatarian. You know, she doesn't stress too much about me making the pizza with the chicken on one side and the cheese on the other. She's okay with that. Just as long as there's no chicken on her side. Let's fucking eat, guys. Let's, let's dabble. Let's dabble. Let's taste test this bad boy. Better than Pizza Hut. This shit's fucking great. And it took me no time. As if you make your dough in advance, you're set to go. It's weird. The buffalo sauce gets more mild. I guess when you put it in the oven. I don't know. But it's perfect. Crust is hard. 
Well, on the bottom and the top is soft. How it's supposed to be. Buffalo chicken is great. Hell yeah. yeah I just smashed that pizza. She smells like breath. She smells like chicken, buffalo breath. Okay. It was a great damn pizza. It was great. And if you enjoyed the the pizza making, um, let me know down below. It was a good time. Good pizza. I think I should have put more sauce. Um, just because I want to really, you know, I may even like what season it with like the ranch um, seasoning. Because you can buy ranch seasoning and make your own ranch. So... I would suggest that just to really get that ranch flavor, you know, I'm going to get ready for work. Uh, it is already three in the afternoon. When I started this, it was around 12 and I meant to wake up way earlier, but you know, I stayed up all night binging Fullmetal Alchemist and you know, that's what happens, you know, Fullmetal Alchemist, you know, I might watch an episode before I go to work, you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. Hey guys, I just want to let you know, I'm going to be actually doing a giveaway. Uh, I will be giving away this 10.5 inch Yanagaba knife from Dao Strong, the Shogun series. It is Damascus steel and it is quite badass. It is used, but not much. And I figured someone else could put some actual use to it. So you have to be at least 18 years of age to get this knife. You have to live in the US and you have to prove to me you're subbed to the channel by screenshotting your sub and sending it to me on social media. Um, I will be announcing two winners. One will be getting the knife and both will be getting a shout out on the channel and on social media. So if you want to win this knife, go ahead and show me you sub to the Sizzle and Simmer channel. All right, guys, I appreciate your love and support, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.